Hello and welcome to this video introduction of the 2022 Permit Technician Checklists. These checklists were developed based on feedback from over 100 permit technicians. They cover the most frequent permit projects and will assist you in verifying all required information during application intake. This video is the first in a two-part series. In this video, we'll review how to download the checklists and see the types of projects they focus on. In the next video, you'll get more familiar with how they are organized and practice using them. To find the checklists online, go to energycodeace.com. Click on the Buildings header and then click on Checklists. Next, filter to the 2022 Energy Code. From here, you will see the permit checklists. Select the one with your climate zone. From here, you can save them to your Energy Ace account so that you'll always have access to the most recent version, or you can share them, download them, or see more details. Click Download to receive a zipped file that includes all available checklists for the selected climate zone. The checklists are provided as PDF files, so you'll need Adobe Acrobat Reader to view them. If you do not have this program installed on your device, you can download for free on the Adobe website. Now that you know where to find the checklists, let's talk more about their purpose and the types of projects they can assist you with. The Permit Technician Checklists focus on 2022 Energy Code. This set of building energy efficiency standards is also called Title 24 Part 6 and is updated by the California Energy Commission every three years. If a home project triggers the energy code, its proposed design and construction must demonstrate compliance with energy efficiency standards. There is a set of requirements called mandatory measures. They must always be met or exceeded, regardless of the chosen compliance pathway. The energy code allows for two options for demonstrating compliance, the prescriptive approach and performance approach. The prescriptive approach offers a simple but inflexible way to show compliance. It uses project scope and climate zone location to provide a list of specific energy requirements. To comply, all of these requirements must be met. Missing just one means the project does not comply. The performance approach is much more flexible and offers room for building customization, but it requires special software to determine if the building's overall proposed design is at least as good or better than the baseline standard design set by prescriptive requirements. Because the average homeowner will likely opt for the simplest and least costly approach, your checklists are designed to focus on permit applications submitted under the prescriptive approach. Think of the permit technician checklists as a job aid designed for your use in intake and evaluating permit applications for compliance with 2022 Energy Code. As a job aid, they are written to assist you with direct links to applicable energy code sections and compliance forms, further resources for permit applicants to understand code requirements. In fact, you can print out an extra copy to hand out directly to customers asking for more information. Ready to dive in? Let's look at how they work and the types of projects they can assist you with. There are five checklists included in your climate zone packet. Each checklist will cover the 2022 energy code requirements for a different type of residential alteration project. These projects are window and skylight alterations, re-roofing, water heating system alterations, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system alterations, and simple remodels. These alteration projects involve only the existing home, for example, a simple re-roof or water heater change-out. Because the energy code has different requirements for additions and new construction, these checklists should not be used for those types of projects. Additionally, these checklists should not be used for extensive renovations of an existing home or any projects requiring additional submission of design drawings. Each checklist will show energy code requirements specific to your climate zone. When you review project submissions for Climate Zone 10, ensure that your set of permit technician checklists all indicate Climate Zone 10. 
If the scope of your job covers more than one climate zone, keep a set of checklists for each climate zone on hand. Not sure where a submitted project permits climate zone is? The California Energy Commission provides a way to find it by interactive map or zip code on their website. In the next video, you'll look at a sample checklist to see how it's organized. Then, we'll walk through a permit intake scenario so you can see the checklist in action. Be sure to check out the other sections that are of interest. If you have questions and comments about the technical requirements or compliance process, you can contact us at energycodeace.com by clicking the link at the bottom of the page. You'll need to be signed in at Energy Code Ace to access the request form. Or reach out to the CEC by emailing or phoning their call center. If you think this content was helpful, please consider clicking the like button. And we encourage you to add a comment to give us more detailed feedback. To stay up to date on the latest Energy Code Ace offerings that will help you comply, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn. Facebook, and YouTube.